Ed Meese. Launch button now. Launch button now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna watch Team Hunter and Team Jarhead first. Now, Team Jarhead, Team Jarhead, that's who I'm going for here. We've got Ed Meester, we've got Growl, we've got uh, Little Soldier, Vincent Hall, Canadian Bacon, Porn FX. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Team Hunter, Team Jarhead. Alright. We're waiting for Team Jarhead to launch and we'll be spectating from their side. We've gotten a few technical difficulties as soon as uh, they launched the game. It didn't happen. All right. Guard. Are we ready? All right, here they go. Up. Oh, we had some issues. Paul, are we ready? Someone didn't ready up. And then they went to launch. And as you guys know, so we've got basically 24 people. 24 people Paul, have to ready? ready up. And of course, someone's like, oh, well, I'm not ready. Now I'm ready. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> so we have Team Jarhead, Team Hunter. And we'll go and switch back. So as soon as they launch, I'll let you guys know. And we'll go. And again, this is this is behind me, Team Hunter. And then we've got Team Jarhead. That's who we're going to be watching. As soon as they launch, we will switch back to it. Hey, it is what it is. You got 24 people trying to just totally see. And as you guys, you guys know, you play out there. Everyone will be ready, right? And then you got that one guy at the very end. It's like, oh, oops, I didn't, I didn't realize. That I didn't, I didn't my, my bad. Or it's like, oh, come on, dude, really? So as you can see, I see right now Team Jarhead and Ken. That's my team. I'm going for Team Jarhead. Hey, got to support uh, the Marines. You know, that's, that's just how I am. And you got Team Jarhead. I see all of them are ready. So the holdup must be Team Hunter. Oh, yeah, look at Dave. That's dead fire, by the way. Must be Team Hunter. Now, let's see what we've got. Are there? No, I see a lot of on readies. Uh, there we go. No, it'll be all right. So, we got uh, Team Hunter and Team Jarhead kicking off. And again, I just want to say a welcome to everyone. That is Dead Fire coming all the way from Canada. Yes, Canada. He's here with you guys. Yeah, representing Canada. Look at that, you know. 228th, by the way, for those that uh, play out there in the competitive teams. We got. Uh, we have everyone here, uh, Wolf Spiders, uh, 228th, I mean, everyone. Anyway, so as soon as we can, uh, you know, launch, we will. I, again, I see, you guys can see, well, I can see the screens up there. Oh, get it ready. Here we go. Here, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and boom. So here we go. All right, we got it. We're going, we're going. All right, let's switch. Let's switch. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. I'm switching right now. We're going in game. And here we go. All right. So I'm going to be watching from Ed Meester's Team Jarhead. Go Marines. Anyways, for those that don't know, U.S. Marines, we're called Jarheads. It's acceptable. That's uh, We totally take that name. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, Team Jarhead versus Team Hunter. Ed Meester's team against team Omni. Hazard. Team Hazard, we're experiencing some headphone technical difficulties. All right, so Probably we're waiting, we're waiting, game. we're waiting. Here we go. We are in game. Again, we are spectating. Let me go ahead and switch to the in cockpit view. As soon as they can, you can see startup sequence is happening. And here we go. All right, Bam. All right. All right, so here we go. Switching over to Ed. We're going to find him. Where is he? Let's find him. Canadian Bacon. We've got Redog. We've got Dark Light. We've got Brad. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's Ed. There's Ed. Okay, we're going to be watching from Ed. Now, Ed, for those that don't know, is one of the most dangerous light mech pilots out there. He has actually won most of the light mech tournaments for MWO right now. He's in his famous Jenner. For those that don't know, the Jenner 835 ton light assault or light battle mech, he's got uh, six medium lasers. And as you can see, they've actually set up 
in Bravo 3. It's, uh, if, if you were to look at Forest Colony, it'd be like the upper part. Across the way, we've got the, the water. And so let's let's see what they do. Now in Alpha Lance, we've got Ed Meester, Tur, Tur, Mr. Tibbs, and Bad. And here we go. Oh, um, another Jenner in the midst. Here we go. We got Alpha. He's firing. As you can see, he's not moving. He's letting them come to him. So here we go, Ed. Ed's pushing up here. We, we're on Alpha. All right, now, as a light mech pilot, he's going to be fast. He's going to be maneuverable, but he's not jumping forward here. Look at their tire formation there on their map. They're waiting. They're being patient. I think that's actually really key. Don't just rush ahead. So, again, this is Team Jarhead with Ed Meester, Little Soldier Vincent, Power, Vincent, Canadian Bacon, Cornaflex. And here we go. It is still 0-0. we got plenty of time. 13, second, 13 minutes and 14 seconds still to go. All right, so here we go. Now, I've got uh, I've got Team Hunter behind me screaming. I hear, I hear dead fire leading his guys. So let's see how this goes. Again, Ed and his uh, his other lights. Now, you see this. Team Jarhead has a Jenner, a Raven 3L. Oh, you hear that communication behind? It? They're talking tunnel. We've got, uh, again, another Jenner and a Cicada. Now, the Cicada is actually not a light battle mech. It is actually a medium but it moves just as quickly, has a little bit more fire firepower, and it's got a good heavy punch to it. Now, usually, if we switch over to a bad, let's go ahead and check out bad and his setup really quick. Bad, again, you've got six medium lasers on bad. All right, so again, you've got multiple, multiple energy loadouts here for their light and medium setups. So let's go ahead and switch back to Ed. And we've got Ed back. Now he's looking through the tunnels. And I have Team Hunter behind me screaming, hey, they're going tunnels, they're going tunnels. All right, he's saying, checking the water. You can hear him screaming back there. All right, so totally tense. These guys are deadlocked right now. All right, so here we go. Now Ed is watching. He's being patient. He's in the caves. All right. All right, so he's pushing forward. Here we go. Ed is locked onto Bravo. What is Bravo? Oh, we missed it. Didn't see it. I have no idea what that was. All right. Now you can see his entire lance is actually still in that upper location. Ed is down in the caves. He's watching the entrance. He's seeing if they're going to come this way. Now again, we don't know the enemy's position. We've only had a few lock-ons, but I'm going to assume they're out near the water. That's where they guys they are. So we've got two teams. We've got water again, and we've got upper in Forest Colony. Being very, very cautious. No one's making a move here. And we've got Ed. Okay, Ed's moving around. You can see his entire alpha length. And I want to I point out this. So key that Ed and Team Jarhead, look at how composed they are. Ed in his entire lance. All of his mechs are with them. All of them. All right, sorry. Just, I'll move my uh, cursor there. So someone was uh, asking me about that. All right, so we want some fighting. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Team Hunter over there or Team Jarhead? Who's going to make it? Who's going to push? All right. Now I'm looking over here. I'm looking at other screens. I'm looking uh, beside me. I've got uh, Team Jarhead is actually right th outside the caves. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to have some fighting. Ed Mister is pushed out of the caves. All right. All right. You hear dead fire. You say push over the ridge. Push over the ridge. All right. So a lot of ECM. Look how much ECM is going on there. They have one, two, three mechs with ECM right in front of them. So utilizing the ECM. There we go. We got Bravo. Bravo is a up oh, lost. We don't know what Bravo is. Lost the lock. Know where each other are. All right. So you got you got people calling targets, calling targets left and right. We've got Ed pushing up, being very very cautious here. Now I'm just gonna break away really quick, just for a glamour shot. We're gonna break away. We're gonna go above the land. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Above. Overhead shot of the battlefield. see both teams facing off each other. All right, so you see, you see lights. Team Hunter screaming, "Lights go towards the tunnels! Lights go towards the tunnels!" You got Team Jarhead positioned, positioned up behind the hills. A lot of lasers, ballistic. We have no missiles on the field. No missiles. I have not seen any missiles yet. Here we go. Let's go and switch back to Trig. All right, we're gonna switch back to Team Jarhead. Here we go, Team Jarhead. PK Dog, Arathema, No Theo. All right, here we go. All right, so we got Deadfire right behind me. Now this is Team Hunter 
and they are fighting Team Jarhead, who we are watching. So we have Vincent Hall on Team Jarhead. We got Victor VTR 9S. We've got two AC5s and two large lasers. He's engaged here. As you can see, he's caught out in the open here. He's caught against Light Max against against Team Hunter. So this is could, this could be really dangerous. Basically, one assault back by himself. He's being jammed. He's surrounded. As you can see, Team Jarhead is moving into support. Here they come for support, but it may be too late. He's taking a lot of damage here. The the Victor, the 9S, he's got two large lasers, AC5s. Again, it's all torso mounted weapons. It's all torso mounted weapons. Is he going to be going down? We've got uh, oh, we got one kill. They're one and one right now. One to one. Pick Dog is down. All right, here we go. Still watching Vince Hall. We're gonna keep going to the next person. All right, so watching Vincent. He's all right. We got a uh, we got a trebuchet. He's almost down. Trebuchet, seven K with an AC twenty. That's gonna be big. And he is he is down. He is down. So we've got uh, Vince Hall, Team Jarhead. They're down right now, but it's still this. Is, this is not away from them. They can still do just as well. Uh, Team Hunter has now got a three on them. Team Jar, Team Jarhead. Uh, there we go. Team Jarhead. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to Ed Mister. Hold on. Let's get to Ed Mister. Let's get to Ed. Let's get to Ed. Let me switch here. We're gonna switch to Ed. All right. We're back to Ed. All right. Here we go. So as you can see, the entire Alpha Lance of Ed Mister is still alive. They haven't taken too much damage. Look at that. Look at that. In the top left corner, you can see Ed Mister is still at 95% health. Uh, Tur is at 86%. Mr. Tibbs is at 90%. Oh, and he just shut down. Oh, there the Ed Mister just took out Core from Team Hunter. Core just went down. Oh, we just got another one down. All right. There we go. Oh, you have Team Hunter down here. Good shit. Someone just went down. All right. All right, here we go. We've got Ed Mister. You can see the speed maneuverability. He's one of the best light mech pilots out there, literally, in the MWO community. And he is taking it to it now. It is four to five. This is still an all game. Look at these guys. They're not even paying Ed Mister any attention. Now, Ed's leg, look at his leg. Look at Ed's leg, his right leg. He's into internal structure. If that goes out, Ed is out of the fight. If his leg goes out, that maneuverability goes out the window. He's going to be taken out. He's going to be highlighted. But as you can still still see, four to five, his entire lance is still alive. 79 health, 85, 73, and 64. He's running around using the speed maneuverability. Look at that, six medium laters going everywhere. He's just firing left group, right group. As you can say, target, looks like target Kilo is a cataphract. It looks like cataphract, and he's out. Ed Mester takes out Omnicide. Omnicide is the leader of Team Hunter, the official leader of Team Hunter. He's out. Still anyone's game. All right, it's four to six right now. Four to six. Let's see who's it gonna be. Who's it gonna be? All right, you've got Team Hunter screaming behind me, try, trying to flank, trying to maneuver here, and Ed Meester using that cover, using that above. Look, he jumped up from behind him. He's shooting him from the rear, and look, he's getting out of dodge. He uses that maneuverability to maneuver around. He's not staying in one place. He's gonna be a harasser. He's gonna be an annoyance, but. Ed Mister needs to watch his right leg. If he takes one hit, probably he's out of the fight. You see Delta right there. Delta Spider about to be taken out. All that right leg. Look at this. He's flanking again. Ed Mister again. Team Jarhead. Go Team Jarhead. Let's see. Is Team Jarhead going to do it? Oh, Team Hunter is getting some kills. Five to seven. All right. Who's going to win this? Team Jarhead or Team Hunter? It is back and forth. Look at how much time is left. They've got five minutes left. Five and a half minutes left to press. Is it going to be Team Hunter over here? Is it going to be Dead Firing Group? And Mr. Goat downs Dan Drew. Dan Drew is out of the fight. Out of the fight. So it's 5 8 right now. 5 8, five minutes left. And we've got Ed Meester taking some damage to the rear. And you can see, oh, here we go. Bravo. Bravo is down. Bravo's Dead Fire is out. Dead Fire is out of the fight. He's down. Good flank maneuver. And you can start to see, here we go. You got a Highlander crit, crit re rear torso. He's. He's almost going to be out. Look at those. Dual PPCs, dual AC5 setups. Ed Meester, again, that right leg. If Ed's right leg goes, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Here you go. You can see up. Oh, we've got a part of Alpha Lance out. Mr. Tibbs takes out Demon. We've got Trig also tilt Tur. we got two down in Ed's Alpha Lance. Two down. There's one left. Is Ed. Can Ed do this? Can Ed do this? Can Ed do this? Team Jarhead, come on. Team Jarhead is winning. They're about to take out Team Hunter. 
Jar the last. Five. No, no. It's Team Jarhead is winning right now. <laughs> Team Jarhead is winning. Team Hunter, this is gonna be. This is gonna be. Come on, let's go, Team Jarhead. One left. One lap, Atlas, Team there it is, it's over, it's over, it's over. Oh, that was awesome, look at that, just, holy crap, look at that. All right, hey, good game, I just want to give a round of applause to Team Hunter right here. Hey, Team Hunter, great job, guys, you guys did amazing. Holy crap, that was intense. Wow, you guys saw the first-hand experience across the board. I want to just give props to Team Hunter just wow I mean it literally came down to about halfway through and you started to see the domino effect they took too much damage it was an extended campaign I mean it went down all the way to just a few minutes left but let's go ahead and check out the game scores as you can see here Ed Meester 603 damage we've got bad 291 we've got mr. Tibbs 215 we've got tur 127 now out of that, we've also got a lot of damage on the other team. Look at, uh, we've got 571 from a high, uh, Highlander 733C. But at the end, Team Jarhead, a 